when we work with other coaches, they may not have been able to just pull it all together. It was pieces of a puzzle. You were able to just say, okay, let's take a deep breath. Let's start from the beginning and go step one, step two, step three, and not go step 10, nine, eight, and two. You're able to take the technology and make it palatable so we can do it, even if we're not technology an expert. And so all of those things together were just wonderful. I have one other amazing goddess that I need to introduce you to. She is a coach, but that's not how she started. She started off as a physician, actually is still a practicing physician. She is Dr. Nanachka Tumley. And as she comes on the screen here, I want to tell you a little bit about what she does. She is the CEO and founder of the International Patient Advocacy Institute, we created this institute here together, and she's put some gifts together, which I'll talk to you about here in a moment. But she starts as a doctor, and she has a passion for helping Black women understand and navigate their breast cancer diagnosis. And there you are, my friend, Dr. Hey. Nanachka Chamley, goddess. First of all, I just love this image you uh, allowed us to use here. Um, it's so goddess-like. And then, of course, you you radiate all that, God, all that. So welcome here. Thank Congratulations you. on your business and your graduation today. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. So well, let's, talk, let's dive right into it. You're passionate about helping women understand and navigate breast cancer diagnosis, specifically back women. And you were telling me some amazing statistics that like blew my mind, but how sometimes black women fall through the cracks. Um, could you talk a little bit about this? Um, this is a perfect time to like share with the world the kind of awareness you want to bring to this problem. Well, unfortunately, um, black women uh, have a higher um, statistical um, uh, what's the perfect word? They have a higher rate of breast cancer and it's usually diagnosed at an advanced stage. And mm -hmm. sometimes they just don't have access to the healthcare system or they feel that they don't have excellent uh, access to the healthcare system. Mm -hmm. um, right now, breast cancer in Black women are killing us higher than coronary artery disease, which we know is number one. I did cancer. not know that. Oh, so, yes, yeah, it's unfortunate. So, but yeah. also we don't um, join or get invited to the table, so to speak, on breast cancer research. And so in order to better diagnose and what's more better to treat, we need to have Black women in some of these um, research studies so that their uniqueness, if you will, can be studied That's as well. So it's really, it's definitely a passion. I, I saw in the eyes of my patients who were overwhelmed with their diagnosis and they literally did not know what was the next step. And it didn't matter if they had a PhD, a MD, a DO, a M master's. When, you, when they get a diagnosis, breast cancer, it levels the playing field, period. And they just are overwhelmed period. and they're confused. Mm -hmm about the next step. It's like, okay, I've been diagnosed. What do I do next? Oh my God. It's so true. And you were telling me, God, I, pardon me for not remembering the exact example, but a, an attorney, a black female attorney was recently diagnosed and she, you know, at the top of her career, all of a sudden comes to you. And like you said, levels the playing field, like your world gets turned upside down. And where do you start now? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Because there are very unique things about getting a breast cancer diagnosis that can baffle people um, about navigating even just their team. So what kind of things do people struggle with, including just talking to a white coat? That might be very scary as well. What kind of things happen? Are they confused about commonly? And what are some things that they can do about it? I don't know. I think they're overwhelmed and sort of in um, denial and very angry. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. the diagnosis of breast cancer, not by me, but some of the other um, physicians, they're given the breast cancer diagnosis by telephone, which to me is just not acceptable. <laughs> but it's Oh, my God. I even have a girlfriend that's a 10 year breast cancer, a black woman who's a breast cancer survivor. 
Uh-huh. And I asked it, 10 years ago, and I just happened to sh- ask her, I said, well, when you were diagnosed 10 years ago, was it in person with the doctor in front of you? She said, oh, no, it was a, it was by telephone. And to me, that just, I can't even imagine getting that diagnosis, period, but then getting it by phone. What if you're driving the car? You may drive off the road. Or if you get that diagnosis and there's no one physically home or you're not, you know, with, over a friend's house or not. Right. With- you might go jump off the top of your house. You just, you just don't get that kind of diagnosis over the telephone. But sometimes technology is, uh, you know, is advanced. But I believe in high touch and low technology when it comes right. to that thing. And I think they I don't think they're worried about themselves. Are they going to get sick? Do they have to get chemo? Do they have to get radiation? Right. Um, are they going to live long enough to see their grandkids go to college? Um, you know, will they still be able to work? Um, will their health care cover everything that needs to, to happen? You know, do they have to eat differently now? You know, what yeah. do, they, do they sort of just, you know, the different emotions that they're going to go through? It's a lot. And so that's yeah. where I come in. I can guide them and steer them, you know, from a yeah. doctor. Here. I think um, my husband told me once that, you know, sometimes people just don't care. And so I do. And I'm passionate about it. And I'm there to hold your hand and help you walk through the step, walk through the fire, walk through, walk through the everything fire. And, and giving you direction as to what to do next, because you're not supposed to know this is a diagnosis that you just got. And so you have more que- you have more questions than you do answers. And so I'm just happy to know that I can do something that will help them understand their options, what's going to happen next, what what they can expect and know that they can do it. You know, they have someone that can help them along the way. I love that. I love that you as an insider, a physician, and specifically a Black physician woman could really bring this perspective to them because I I love that you're that voice and that's so beautiful. And it reflects here on what you've created for them. Um, So if you or someone you know has been diagnosed with breast cancer, specifically if you're a Black woman who's been diagnosed with breast cancer... I want you to uh, sh- look at the guide that Dr. Nanashka Chamley put here together for you. It's called Navigate Your Breast Cancer, A Black Woman's Guide to Breast Cancer Advocacy. And she, of course, uh, designed the International Patient Advocacy Institute, because this is going big, y'all. This is a mission. This is a hill that she is proudly flying a flag on, and I'm so in awe of the work you created here at the Life Coach Business School. Amazing, amazing work. Thank you, Ramsey. Definitely couldn't do it without you. I felt like I was a part Frankenstein. I can identify with Marie. I can identify with Coldip and with Debbie, uh, especially niching down. Uh, you know, first it was sort of the breast cancer for all. And you can't, you know, like someone said earlier, you can't serve every single person. And, I said, and it just so happens that Black physicians, Black female physicians only make up about 4%, 5% max of all the physicians. So I'm so happy that um, I'm a, a woman, a Black woman, a Black woman physician, and I'm able to help another Black woman who's middle age, who has been diagnosed with breast cancer. And the studies have shown that if you see someone that looks like you, that's taking care of you and guiding you, you get a better result. So and sometimes people are actually patients seek out, you know, they they call different organizations that I belong to and say, where are the black doctors in Los Angeles, in New York, in Alabama, in Atlanta? And so I'm here yes. internationally. <laughs> yes. I love that so much. So if you are someone who is, struggling with a breast cancer diagnosis, their doctors, teams, medications, treatment options. Should you talk to your family or not about it? Who should be your support system? And how does that affect you on a personal level and a cultural level in the scheme of a network of people or your community? Dr. Nanachka Chamli, y'all, that is what she's here on this planet to do at the International Patient Advocacy Institute helping Black women understand and navigate their breast cancer diagnosis. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. One last question for you. Of course. I'm not going to let you off the hook. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Well, I've asked everyone um, so far, uh, you've gone through a lot of steps here at the Life Coach Business School. 
which step really helped things click for you? What is the thing? I mean, we you have an amazingly beautiful brand kit. You have an amazing guide that was designed here. You have an amazing set of, of, of steps you help women through. Um, what step here helped put things together into perspective for you? That is such a tough question because I echo what everyone said, especially um, coming up with the breast cancer wellness plan, uh, putting that piece together. Also getting, uh, I think it was called Dip that said, you know, the technology, you were able to teach us how to do things like set up the brand kit, you know, design our brand, our banner, and also a lot show us how to put that on our um, social media using language i think because you know sometimes I, I, I we're so much in our brain and not and even though we're heart centered we want everything to be perfect and i think one of the things you told me is, was you know give it to me in a lower level and we'll make it an a plus by the time we get finished so just being able to um put those things together technology wise coming up with the brand kit um niching down that it's you know breast cancer advocacy for black women versus just breast cancer for all so you're just, you're, you don't know how, you're amazing. And I think you don't realize it. We're all telling you because, you know, we work with other coaches and things like that. And they weren't able, they may not have been able to just pull it all together. It's, it's sort of, they, they were, it was pieces of a puzzle. And you were able to just say, okay, let's take a deep breath. Let's start from the beginning and go step one, step two, step three, and not go step 10, nine, eight, and two. So you were able, and you, and you could see our vision just by speaking with us using normal language you you're able to um take the technology and make it palatable so we can do it even if we're not technology uh, you know an expert and so all of those things together were just wonderful oh my god well thank you so much for that but congratulations to you because you did the work there were the steps had but you did all this work to bring your mission your vision your dreams your your body of work, your everything into this. And it really shows, again, let me share with everyone what you have created here. Navigate Your Breast Cancer, A Black Woman's Guide to Breast Cancer Advocacy as the CEO and founder of the International Patient Advocacy Institute. Congratulations. Just go ahead and email uh, breastcancercoach7 at gmail.com and Dr. Nanachka Chumley will personally send this to you so congratulations again on your graduation